I don't want to hear a goddamn thing from you SJWs that said that, that y'all was going to support this damn game. This game literally came out two weeks ago and, this, and PlayStation already pulled the plug on it. So where are the SJWs? Where are the liberals? Where are the freaking, uh, what do you call it? The saviors of diversity. Where are the people, where are the activist gamers that uh, said they wanted representation in video games? But then when the representations happen in the video games, they don't go out there and support the video games. We keep on trying to tell these video game publishers that these activists don't play video games like they claim they do on social media. Social media does not speak for a wide variety of people. It only speaks for a small minority. And Concord literally just shows like, dude, they literally had a goddamn trans character in this video game, which I didn't even know about till today because, again, I wasn't buying this damn game on PC. But, guys, the fact that people, especially the, the, some of the places of fanboys, are trying to cap this game. I said from day one that the I saw from the trailer from this game, this game was DOA. This was just a Overwatch clone. And an Overwatch clone with very bland, unattractive characters. And they really thought that people was going to be okay with this and just buy this bullshit. Hell fucking nah. I tried to tell you try to tell some of these people that this game is not going to survive for a long time i just didn't expect it to go out in two in less than two weeks i was at least expecting at least a whole maybe six months like you know suicide squad, suicide squad is also a game that's literally hanging on by a thread the only reason that it's still up and running is because it's a game that's being funded by Warner brothers that's the only reason why that game is still up and running but the fact is this Concord, the Concord game is literally dead on arrival. It was dead on arrival from the start. And I, I called this out. The same thing with the Suicide Squad, that, that literally is hanging on by a thread. And any other games that may be all about the representation or that other SJW bullshit. But we just need to go to show like, yeah, these, these freaking video game purposes need to stop listening to social media. See, y'all yeah, just seen Microsoft uh, get rid of their freaking diversity, you know, equity and inclusion freaking uh branch because it was making them lose money and you see what's happening over here at playstation i hope hopefully sony listens because what's going on at uh sony you know america you know when they probably listen to mofos over there in california about oh this is what people want in the video game they want all this trans bit you know trans deep you know sjw liberal bullshit and the people literally pay literally uh they literally freaking told them with their wallet. We don't want this BS. But guys, Concord is dead. Officially. Offic Concord is officially dead after two weeks. After, no, under two weeks. This game is dead on arrival. And games like Black Myth Wukong is still bad. Like, duh, look at this. Like, for real. I'm not even kidding when I say this game is not even listed. It's not. Dude, look, look. I, I, I'm looking up Concord right now as you speak on, on the Steam page. This game, they literally delisted the game. They delisted it. It hasn't even been two whole weeks. $200 million down the goddamn drain. And I I, I heard they only got $1 million in sales. Because I, it, it was like 25,000 people that actually bought the game in these past two weeks. Yeah, this game was dead. Firewalk Soap, what's it say? Places and pulls a plug on Concord. Shuts game down after less than two weeks and offer full refunds. Guys, you know it's bad when Sony themselves are giving out full refunds. Because Sony does not give out does not like giving out refunds. Firewalk Studios announced it shut down Concord servers and will no longer be selling the game less than two weeks after it released. In the blog post, Firewalk Studios game director Ryan Ellis announced, at this time we have decided to take the game offline beginning September 6, 2024, and explore options including those that will better reach our players. He also shared that the company will be offering full refunds while we determined the best path ahead. Concord sales, Concord sales will cease immediately and we will begin to offer a full refund for all gamers who have purchased the game for PS5 or PC. If you purchased the game for PlayStation 5 from the PlayStation Store or PlayStation Direct, a refund will be issued back to your original payment uh, method. Uh, the game was plagued with negative feedback from the onset 
where many players decline the game for its ugly designs and promotion of transgender ideology with the inclusion of pronouns. Sweepy Eek uh, detected Steam curated the list. Noted at the end of May, so the F robot has pronouns in the next Sony game. Okay. And this 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 fat chick right here. This fat chick. Oh god. Again, why do why do SJWs and liberals project black women as these fat, ugly people? Cause I've seen beautiful black females. And they don't look like this. They look you probably will see some people in the streets. But that's not the majority of black women. I hate how black women are depicted like this. Instead of addressing these concerns, Firewalk Studios chose to ignore them. Speaking with VTC, the company's director of IP, Kim Crane, stated, Yeah, that trailer, that moment is such a tiny slice of everything that we've been working for, on for years and years. We're excited for the game and for the IP, and for the game to be in people's hands, the IP to be in people's mind. She continued, I'm personally very excited for the IP for folks to delve into the galactic guide if that is something they chose to do. For these big nets to come out on a weekly basis. Y'all, you all start to fall in love with the death of these characters. There's something that you learn week to week. Their personalities will unfold, the relationship will unfold for you. Their backstories, none of that is something that you can get in a tiny little slice of. But that's a start, Crane's at it. There's something there, so I'm glad folks watched it. I'm glad they participated, and I can't wait, I can't wait for them to see more, to see everything that is there. When the game released in its early access in July, it only had a peak concurrent player count of just 1,124 players. Yeah, because a lot of people on PC don't support this kind of bullshit. Again, Dustborn, another game that's on the PC right now. A lot of people on PC are not, you know, you know, fucking with that game. But, you know, they still going to release games like that and, and try to uh, just force that shit down your throat. And these companies will continue to, to lose money. And when the game went into open beta, it, it barely improved the peak concurrent uh, of 2388. While the peak current went up by steam between the early access and over beta, a report from True Trophies indicated that the play counts on PlayStation decline. See, not even the PlayStation, play the PlayStation players uh, support this damn game. Cass Ayla Stephenson reported using a gameplay data sample from over 3.1 active PSN accounts. Courtesy of our partnership with Game Insights, we can see that Concord has 8.1 fewer players in the, in the second open beta than the early access beta. He added, in our PlayStation Court that ranks the top 40 most popular games every week, Concord ranked in the number 29 position both weeks. When the game released on August 23rd, it only hit a peak concurrent of just 697 players on Steam. In the past 24 hours, it only hit, it only hit a peak concurrent of uh, 110 players. Guys. People had the nerve to trash all the trash Redfall, and his thing. I trash Redfall too. Redfall was not a good game. It wasn't. But bro, at least Redfall is still here. People, some people are still playing Redfall. People was not playing this game. This game, which literally has this trans character right here. Again, who the hell asked for this bullshit? I can't, guys. I can't. I can't. This uh, this freaking company is is really going, it's really going out of the way to freaking just make sure they don't get no money no more. I'm not even gonna be dealing. <laughs> this is why I'm glad I'm on PC because I, I don't have to be dealing with this kind of bullshit. But guys, Concord is officially dead, and I can't. And I'm here to say to a lot of people that kind of downed me on freaking Twitter, I told you so. Next time you guys want to be like, oh, people will support this game because, uh, you know, there's some good rep representation in, in the in the uh, in the game. There's some people that actually want these people. You know, this is this game is good for representation, you know, and all that other bullshit. And I'm like, so if this, so if this, if this is a game that, that people want a representation, um, how come it? <laughs> How come the game didn't last more than two weeks? I'm, I'm, I'm quite curious. I'm quite curious. How come this game did not last more than two weeks? Like, what's the, like, what's y'all excuse here? What is y'all excuse? The fact that y'all said y'all want a representation, but y'all won't, y'all, y'all don't want to support this game. Like his, like his thing, the first ascendant. Look at this. People are still playing this, the first ascendant because of killer models like this. They have, some, they have some good looking character models in the first ascendant and you wonder why people are still supporting that game to this day me i'm still playing this game the storyline maybe maybe a bit ass but the, at least the characters and some of the you know some of the side missions intrigue me 
The characters are pretty uh, good looking, which is, uh, hey, this, this, this is going to show people, this is going to show. Sex does, in fact, sell games. Sex sells. You guys can't say it doesn't because sex does sell. Sex appeal brings in the people. Good looking people or good looking characters makes a good content. It always has been. And I don't want nobody to say, oh, sex appeal doesn't bring in no money. <laughs> yeah, okay. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep, yeah. keep on saying that. Keep on saying that bull crap and see like why these kind of games keep on failing. You see why these kind of games keep on failing, people. I'm not even going to be entertaining these these freaking clowns. I'm not, because the fact that they still try to they still try to you know support games like this, it just makes me laugh. You know, you got those hating ass motherfuckers, SJW feminists that really that hate killers like this and say killers like this are is what is what's causing women to you know self you know delete they say profile. But you know, characters like this is, is what sells games. Yes, the first descendant, you know, character models, sells games. I don't want to be hearing any of that, any of that bull crap. Guys, we all we all said it from the start. Concord was going to be a DOA game. We all said it from the start. PlayStation was stupid as hell to even release this crap. But you know, I'm not. I'm. Hey, don't listen to me. It's not like I, it's not like I haven't been playing video games for a long time now. And see, like, yeah, sex appeal sells movies sex appeal sales music sell, uh, sex appeal sales video games you can't tell anybody otherwise because but guys this is all i got for, for right here man let me know if you guys actually pay you know you know bought concord on the pc or on the playstation let me know if you guys actually felt ripped off about you know actually playing that game but let me know you know go, just let me know what y'all think about the comments below man if you guys like the video like and subscribe share the video hit the bell come on don't be lazy you know i deserve it <laughs> like the video i'll see y'all next one Peace.